Today we are going to talk about an important topic that is COPD. COPD means chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. A chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. So basically, uh, it is the defined as character airflow limitation. Okay, uh, that is not fully reversible. Means the limitation of alveoli is limited. Means the entry of air through the alveoli is limited, and it is not reversible. Why this happened, we will discuss later. In that, we have some important like emphysema, that is also an anatomical defect, means it is an anatomical defect, structural defect. Okay, and we have chronic bronchitis already in study. Okay, and uh, in that, what happened that it may be the bronchioles, bronchi or alveoli are uh, the limitation the structural changes occurs so that the limitation is decreased the airflow limitation is decreased okay this type of disease is known as copd and uh, the important things we want to remember that copd is the fourth leading cause of death okay COPD is the fourth leading cause of death. So, what are the risk factors? Okay, we have that the number one cause is smoking, yes, cigarette smoking, not only smoking, cigarette. Smoking, there's the reason smoking causes cancer, smoking causes COPD. Okay, uh, so nowadays, uh, in every we have 15 to 20 percent in the average population, uh, nearby are smoking cigarettes. Means, uh, this is very, very useful thing that the number of persons are affected with lung disease. This is the one main cause of uh, respiratory disease. And the second is the having any airway diseases by, uh, by birth airway diseases like we have asthma okay airway diseases or any issue or degenerative issues okay and infections are the cause respiratory infections okay and the number of four is exposure to the environment is a one of the major cause of COPD. Exposure of exposure to environment, external mostly external environment. Okay. This is the main cause of. This is also one of the cause of COPD and genetic diseases. Genetic risk. Okay. This is also most cause of the causes of CO2. Okay. Genetic risk or genetic factors. Okay. These are the causes of obstructive 
pulmonary disease. Okay, and this was happening that what happened is that the low rate of oxygen is decreased. Okay, the capacity of inhaling the capacity of oxygen binding is decreased. Okay. So this is the order. Uh, this is the uh, thing happened. Okay. And uh, in that sometime the lung cells may be that death will happen. Sometimes the uh, damage occurs to the alveoli or sometimes uh, in uh, irreversible damage will happen. Sometimes reversible damage will happen. Sometimes cell death happen. Okay. So why, why because of this? Okay. And uh, we know, have to note down this history. History is very, very important. Okay. For understanding the disease, COPD, because we have to ask the patient about cough, Okay, and production of sputum, dyspnea, shortness of breath. Okay, and this disease is not comes in suddenly. This will gradually uh, develop, gradually process. Processing of the COPD is gradually happening. And gradually it goes, a dyspnea gradually it goes. Okay, only mostly while walking, talking to anyone, exertion, doing exertion, the dyspnea will see. What you will find? Okay, you need to do x ray. Okay, we need to do x ray. X ray is very uh, important. And sometimes you have to do laboratory test. Okay. We have X-ray. The basic approach or CT test sometimes you need it. Okay. And we have one criteria I will explain here how to how to diagnosis or how to what is the severity of COPD. Here we will call gold criteria for COPD. Gold criteria for COPD. Very important. If the patient is risk, so we have to give the grade 0, okay, 1, one, two, three, and four. Okay, these are the grades you have to give to the patient. If the patient have cuff, okay, with sputum, sputum production means it is chronic. If it is chronic. It means it uh, is you have to give zero, zero stage means it is severe risk. Okay, and uh, number it is the number zero. The we'll point here is zero. And if the patient have cuff, only one thing it may be cuff or sputum protection. SP I will write. It means you are giving one to this patient. And if a patient have Again, here we have mild, we'll give mild. Here, severe. Severe, okay. We'll call, this will call me. 
file. And after that, we have two a moderate. This is the moderate, moderate. Okay, in that again, tough or sputum protection on anyone. Okay, here we will choose. And this is the severe. Next again is severe. This here sputum, but here you have to examine the lungs. Pulmonary test you have to do. In that, if the you will get fifty percent constriction of alveoli or bronchioles, the oxygen is not reaching to the uh, capillaries, which is severe. Severe fifty percent reduced here. But cough is there or sputum production is there. Again, next is very severe. In that, we have cough or sputum production with less than 50%. Severe 50%, less than 50%. We can have this patient is damaged more than 50% lung parenchyma or lung tissue or lung cell, I will assume that is very severe condition patient. And that uh, uh, the treatment is given in the allopathy doctors, that is bronchodilator, they will give to dilute the bronchioles and uh, anticholinergic agents they will give to, uh, to reduce the effect of Allergic things, beta agonist, glucocorticoids, uh, okay. Number of things are there oxygen, okay. Sometimes lung transmission is more than 50%, or sometimes they need mechanical ventilation supports or antibiotics, okay. These are the uh, treatment plan in allergy. They will do according to the this gold severity of. Our gold criteria of us. So we will have to the something in examine the patient. Then we have to start the treatment. In electron here, the, the treatment will take longer duration because the lung structure condition is affected. So you need to treat the patient carefully. Okay. So and oxygen support, you need oxygen support if in severe condition. Okay, and you uh, have to check the uh, oxygen also. O2. You have to check the O2 levels in the body. You need careful treatment to this patient. Okay. If the patient is in mild or moderate condition, you need to include the patient because it is less than 70%. 80% less than 80% uh, is okay, 20% is risk. If the more than 70% moderate, more than less than 50%, severe, very severe is less than 50%. More than 50% okay, less than 50% is severe. So, severe, very severe, you have to handle with care. All the cases you have to handle with care, but here more care to be taken, more conscious. So here, lung parenchyma is affected. So we need to add cancerous group here in all with P group. So we can add P1, C1. Okay. Uh, next, we have P1, C1. It is very good. Initial, uh, I think it is first basic remedy. Okay, directly. Or uh, sometimes P1, C5. P1, you can say, okay. Next, we have P2, C5, and when one P E arch, B, P2, you have to make two remedies P2, C5, when one B, and P2, C5, when one G. Okay. Both you have to do. You have to supply the blood to the local area, and we have to. Uh, reduce the sputum protection in any form that 
uh, because in a large amount of spies, Putin is with the Congress will came to that area. Okay. Uh, again, you have to be three, C, third, B. Again, any, for every remedy, I have to add B along with G slash G. So you have to make two remedies, B along with B along with G. G. And you have to make the view uh, with stabilization. Stabilization needed mostly P1 or P2. Okay, P2. Here, C5. Again, C5 very one or verbal, verbal. B, one with B and one with B and G. I see one of the basic mind to moderate treatment plan. You can apply P to C thirteen B. Uh, C1B, sometimes you need C1B or C2B. So these are the remedies you can advise the patient in mild to moderate condition, severe and very severe condition will careful examination. So this is all about COPD. So we completed the COPD chapter. Here, any doubts? I will ask.